Hey guys, Moon Man is here again, and uh, I wanted to do this video too as well. Um, this is my MVD Rewind collection. Um, previously, I did show one. Uh, I only bought the very first one, um, and uh, had that one for months, and I just forgot about it and didn't pick up any of the other ones. Um, but when I took my little break from Vincent, um, decided to catch up on all these, and I have all of them now, um, except. For one of the new releases, I, I I got, I ordered the two new releases. Uh, one of them came. Uh, the second one is sold out right now, um, at least on Amazon, and um, they haven't given me a shipping date or anything yet. So uh, maybe a while for that I get that one. But uh, other than that, I have all the other ones just missing the very last release they they put out. Uh, also, uh, I got two of their NVD classics. They have a classics line. They've only put out two on that one. So I'll show them first. Uh, I'm not going to take these out. I have too many of them here. It would just take way too long. It would be really boring. Um, n nothing really on the inside. There's no, um, from what I remember, there's no reverse artwork or anything like that. It's just the disc in the inside, so you're not missing anything. Uh, so let's start with these. Uh, these are the MVD Classic line. Uh, first one I got here is Jess Franco's Diamonds of Kilimanjaro. And uh, these were dirt cheap. I got these on eBay for $12 a piece. So I was happy to grab these. And I did watch both of them. Uh, they're really cheesy. Uh, they're pretty bad, but um, they're good. They're bad in a good way, in my opinion. <clears throat> I, I did enjoy watching them. But yeah, this one, uh, this one was pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> the second MVD Classic they've released is... Also, Jess Franco's Golden Temple Amazons. So, yeah. Sorry for the glare. I have these in my plastic sleeve, so there's going to be a little bit more of a glare on these. But, yeah, this one was really cool, too. I, I really like both of these. Again, really cheesy, really bad, but really good, too. So, really like those. Now on to their main line. Uh, this is the MVD Rewind Collection, which is uh, I'm, what I'm going to title the video. So, This is their very first release. This is uh, DOA, A Rite of Passage. Uh, this is a uh, rockumentary, um, sort of uh, just a documentary of... Um, who is it? I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I watched this. But... Um, I thought it was pretty cool from what I remember. It's Again, it's been a while and I've watched so many movies. Sometimes they just blend together. So, Yeah, I'm really not into documentaries too much. But this one, I do remember this one being pretty cool. Because uh, you can it actually shows you what uh, rock and roll was kind of like back in uh, you know the 80s and stuff. So, I did like it. It looks like this one came out in 81. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And all these do come with a poster on the inside, but uh, the poster for every one of these is the exact same as the slipcover. So that's what the... And the, they're not real big, so... Uh, their second release uh, is Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Uh, honestly, I didn't like this at all. Like... Not even bad in a good way, in my opinion. I, I hope I don't hurt anybody's feelings. Again, it's just my opinion. But I really did not enjoy this at all. <laughs> I thought it was pretty awful, to be honest. But, you know. And, and honestly, that's kind of saying a lot. Because I love pretty much everything. It takes it takes a lot to make me not like a movie. But, whew, this one was a tough one to get through. So... But, again, if you like it, you know, I'm not knocking you. Just, it did not vibe with me. So, this is their <clears throat> third release. This is Black Eagle, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Really like this one, though. This one was really good. Really enjoyed it. Their fourth release, uh, this was just, this was a really, really good movie. Um, 
I just, uh, if you haven't seen this, I, I really recommend it. It's, it's sort of, um, it's definitely a family friendly movie, uh, you know, but it's so, so good. I, I really recommend it. And that is, uh, Savannah Smiles. Really, really like that one. Uh, this is their fifth release. Uh, this is The Return of Swamp Thing. Really enjoyed this one, too. I thought it was really, really good. Um, I have not seen the first Swamp Thing. I know, don't kill me for that. But um, honestly, I don't think I've ever heard of Swamp Thing, to be honest. But I uh, really enjoyed this one. It was uh, it didn't take itself seriously. It was sort of comedic in a lot of ways. And I really, really enjoyed it. This is their sixth release. This is Went to Coney Island on a Mission from God, Be Back by Five. Also really enjoyed this one. I think I liked all the rest of them. The only one I just didn't vibe with was Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. But other than that, I liked pretty much all of them. But uh, yeah, that, that this one is really good too. Oh... Yes, this is great. Uh, this is their seventh release. Uh, this is Abominable. Fantastic. I loved it. Definitely check this out if you've never seen it. If you love cheesy monster movies, this is it. This is their eighth release. Oh, this one was so, so good. Uh, I like this one better than Black Eagle. Uh, this is Van Damme is Lionheart. Really enjoyed it. Uh, let's see here. This one is their ninth release. This is Wind Rider. With, uh, it's actually got a very young Nicole Kidman in it. Um, I thought this one was okay. It wasn't bad at any way. Um, I definitely enjoyed watching it. Uh, definitely not high on the list as some of these other ones, but uh, still definitely worth picking up in my opinion. I really love the blue slip too. All right. <clears throat> this is number 10. This is Bram Stoker's Shadow Builder, um, honestly, I didn't think I was going to like it that much, um, but I did, I, I thought it was really good, actually, so, definitely check it out, give it a chance, uh, it's definitely worth it, I think. Alright, here we have, this is another 11th release, uh, this is Angel Town. Honestly, I can't remember much. Um, I know I like this one, though, but I don't remember a whole lot about it. <laughs> uh, this is their 12th release. This is Bright Lights Big City with Michael J. Fox. That was okay. Uh, I mean, it wasn't bad at all. Definitely worth watching. I love Michael J. Fox, so yeah, definitely not a bad movie. Give it a give it a chance if you haven't. <clears throat> this is their thirteenth release. This is Nemesis, and yeah, I really like these. Uh, anything really sci-fi, uh, monster movie stuff. Uh, I really like it, and I I thought this was really really cool. Definitely on the cheesy side, but um. Still, still very good. Uh, this is number 14, and this is Double Dragon. Um, I really like this. Um, definitely watch this. Um, it, it was just so fun to watch. Um, and, uh, there's a, there's a car chase scene in here. 
um, where they actually use kind of like video game graphics, and um, you can tell it's definitely like way back in the '80s or something. And but it's it's so good, it's great. I I really enjoyed it. And I have to say, uh, the action scenes in Double Dragon and the car chase scenes and stuff like that, they're pretty well done. I, I was I was really impressed. This is number 15. Uh, this is just a good fight movie, honestly. I, I, I definitely en I enjoyed this, watching this. It was, um, it was very fun to watch. That is uh, Showdown. This is their 15th release. And here we have the rest of the Nemesis, excuse me, Nemesis movies. Uh, this is their 16th release. This is Nemesis 2, 3, and 4. And uh, I didn't like them as much as the first one, um, but they were still they were still good. I enjoyed them. And I think there's a, I think there's a fifth Nemesis movie. Um, I think it's only on DVD. But, um, I think it's actually by the same director or something like that. Don't hold me to it, but I think it is. Uh, here we have number 17. This is Double Impact. Another Jean-Claude Van Damme. I love... Sorry about that. I love Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, this one... Hmm, wasn't as good as the... as Lion Lionheart's probably my favorite one out of the bunch. But, uh... Both of these are definitely good, too. Here we have, this is number 18. Uh, this is Boogie Boy. Uh, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Um, it was just kind of in the middle, I guess. But I think it's, uh, you know, it's still worth watching. There's a couple scenes in here I really enjoyed, actually, but... Alright, two more, guys. Uh, this is their 19th release. Um, this is a pretty cool slip. It's completely different from all the other ones. Uh, this is My Samurai. It is. Uh, it looks extremely bootleg, which I really like, actually. Um, you can actually see it cuts off way more than the... T it looks like it's been cut out with scissors, almost. Um, <laughs> still pretty cool. And, uh, the mood, and yeah, this one was okay. I, I, again, not my favorite, but still enjoyed it. And this is one of their newest releases. Um, there's still one more I'm missing. Hopefully I'll get that soon. I don't know if, what Amazon's going to do about that, but, uh, this is their 20th release. This is The Point, uh, narrated by Ringo Starr. It's a cartoon sort. Um, very weird is all I can really describe, but in a good way, in a good way. Um, I did enjoy watching it, um, but it was it's definitely weird. Um, definitely check it out. If you can find it for a good price, I'd definitely say check it out. So that's it, guys. That's my entire MVD Rewind collection. Uh, again, hopefully I'll get the other one at some point but uh yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh i appreciate you guys watching it really means a lot so uh yeah and uh hopefully i'll get some more videos out eventually and hopefully you enjoy them so uh thanks again and i'll uh catch you guys on the next one see ya